Okay, so you've uh, you just completed a problem. Um, this problem by plotting the table values, and uh, this is this is all about exponential decay. And you've seen how this graph is different than the exponential growth. Um, so in this scenario, uh, or what I'm going to go through here is is I'm going to show you the table that matches your table. Then I'm just going to go on and create an equation for this exponential function, and we'll see how it's different than say exponential growth equations. Uh, and then I'll just do another one um, that's very similar that ha also has an exponential um, decay formula. Okay, so we've got uranium-239 has a half-life of two years, and what that means, and it says it here, is that you've got this radioactive substance, uranium, and it's giving off radioactive waves, and it's, in, it's deteriorating over time. And half-life means after two years, in this particular one, after two years it loses half its mass. It's deteriorated to half the amount that was there before. And it does that every two years. Um, so this one starts with 1,000 uh, milligrams of, this, of the substance, and we need to fill in the table to show how it loses its, its um, mass. So we've got 1,000, uh, and then at the start, and then after two years is one half-life period, it's down to 500. And after two years, again, we're down to uh, 250. Two years after that, we're down to 125. Two years after that, we're down to 62.5. Two years after that, we're down to 31.25 milligrams. So there's our table. Um, notice I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rewrite it a different way so that we can do the equation easily on the next slide. Um, but this is really the 1,000 to start. Um, times one, and this is really the original amount times a half, which is the same as dividing by two. And then again, this is really the amount right above it, so the hundred times the half times a half again. So I'm going to rewrite that half squared. And then this is really that expression times another half, so there's another power of a half in there, uh, so it's cubed, and so on and so on and so on. So we've got um, this exp these expressions. Um, so I got f really four four powers of a half in there after another two years, and then a, another hundred, and then the power of five. So also notice how how our uh, our time matches up with our exponent. Uh, look at the time in years. For four years here, we've got an exponent of two. Six years, we get an exponent of three. Eight years, we get an exponent of four, because it takes two years um, for, this, for this to be cut in half. Let's make an equation here for the next part. So it's the same problem, but just as determine an equation. Um, so again, if we use P for population, then the initial amount was 1,000. And notice from our table what is changing. Um, the exponent is the only thing that's changing in this, these expressions. And it's being uh, divide, you know, multiplied by a half every time. So that's kind of like our growth factor. It's a decay factor in this case. And then if we use n for the number of days, like we've done in the past, um, after, remember, after 10 days, that exponent was a 5. So our exponent has to be the number of days over 2. And that's because it takes two years for one um, to, to cut in half. It doesn't take one year to cut in half. It takes two years to cut in half. So there's our equation uh, for this problem here. If we answer part C, column problem after you come up with an equation is to figure out how much is, is left after, say, a number of years, like 50 years. So if we do that, we now have a way to do our equation. We could say P at 50. Right? What's the population after 50 years? That's going to be 1,000 times a half to the power of 50 over 2. Right? That means there's going to be 25 half-life periods. So then that becomes a 25. And then we can crunch this number out. So we can go half to the power of 25. And then we'll times that by 1,000. Very small amount. Very small amount. That's what I get after punching that in my calculator. Okay, so that's getting an equation and then using that equation. Let's do one more example 
um, to get an equation uh, with exponential decay. Again, let's use uranium. And then uh, this one says, it once it decays, it turns into plutonium, which is another radioactive substance. The half-life of this substance is 24 years. So that means after 24 years, it loses half its value. And suppose we have 50 milligrams to start. So let's get an equation. Let's be P for population and N for the number of years. So this would be P. Now, now we can write it like in function notation. This is P of N, right? So population in terms of years is going to be equal to that initial amount, 50. And then it's losing half its value. So our factor is a half. And then our exponent is um, the number of years over 24, because it takes 24 years um, before we multiply by a half, by reducing by a half. And that's the equation for this one. Next job. There's a quiz to do right underneath this.